is a place where the quick are rewarded and the timid punished. This is no place for the weak at heart. At 120 miles per hour, no quarter is asked, no quarter given. Mistakes have consequences. And the brave reap the rewards. Here skill is prized, luck is welcome, but to be first, you have to finish. America. When people hear a hundred acre wood, they might associate it with that cute, cuddly little bear. However, there is nothing cute, cuddly, or little about the hundred acre wood rally. This each of these rally cars are specifically designed to fit the driver's needs. Well, today we're going to take a look at one driver's very unique setup. I started rallying back in uh, 1983. I had a motorcycle accident. Actually, we were on our way to an event where my father was driving and uh, broke my back. You cannot be afraid of everything, so if it feels good, do it. I'm Jari Hamalainen. I'm from Finland, originally. Basically, the car is brand new, but zero miles on gravel, still. Absolutely zero. <laughs> so the testing will be on the first uh, transit. <laughs> you know, I have a little bit bad, bad experiences about testing before the race. Normally, if you drive five miles before the race, you'll end up uh, retiring five miles before the finish of the last stage. So we are working on uh, zero budget, so. All miles cost money, so we try to do as few as possible. The car has really basic hand controls, so just a twist throttle from a, from a motorcycle. And it took me about uh, half a day to do it, so most of the work I do myself. I've always done it myself. We rally because uh, it's fun. It's like a disease. Once you get into it, it's really difficult to get out. It would be nice to finish. We're getting old, getting fat, so we are not uh, trying to reach the skies anymore. Of course, when you put your helmet on, you're racing. Make sure to stay tuned because there's more rally action coming your way 